What's good YouTube? Ryan Babs here. Back with another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here on my channel we'll be talking about all things personal finance, investing, men's lifestyle, fitness, with the occasional vlog here or there. So if you're into any of those, just be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So in today's video, I've decided to do something a little different, something that I haven't seen done before. And um, since pretty much in the stock market, all we're, a lot of it is speculation in my opinion. And so I decided to have a little fun. I think we're gonna make this a new series and I'm pretty much gonna find growth stocks that have been around for a while and they are well established. And I'm deciding, you know what? Are they primed for a dividend? And if they paid a dividend, what would it be at a 25% payout ratio? Now, according to increase the payout ratio, that changes the yield and all that. Now, I'm not saying that they could, that they will pay a dividend, that dividend is here in their future or any of that. This is just me speculating. Um, and this first one, this is a stock that I think could be, could be primed for a dividend here down the line. This is, like I said, this is just me speculating. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into the first one. Let me move you all over to the other side of the screen real quick. And let's go ahead and switch to the Excel spreadsheet. Here we go. Hopefully y'all can see that okay. Um, let's try to make y'all a little bit bigger. Can y'all see that? No, y'all cannot. Well, let's, if we do this. that bigger so <clears throat> pretty much what I decided to do is I took the stock price which is as of Wednesday night it is two hundred forty three dollars and fifty eight cents I should probably put the title of the stock somewhere on here um, that I took the revenue which is in million so you want to add six zeros to this number to get that total number we're gonna add so of the last four quarters so it would be and quarter one 2020 and we're going so this is quarter one 2020 quarter four 2019 quarter three 2019 quarter two 2019 and i know earnings season is right around the corner for a lot of these so as i do more of these companies you'll see quarter two quarter one quarter four quarter three 2020 and 2019 respectively and then we took the cash flow not keeping this number is also in millions of the past four quarters, then we took the balance, we looked at the current assets, current liabilities, total liabilities, total equity, we've got the ratios, earnings per share for these quarters, then we did, this is just a speculative 25%, I, I literally made this number, pulled it out the air, what the payout would be going off of those four quarters and the dividend yield. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this. Um, so our process, figured out put which quarters we use but that'll be okay as you can see here so a couple of things I looked at is revenues increasing and it fits the bill here quarter one quarter two quarter three and then it dropped off in quarter I know this is going to be confusing but just keep in mind that we're just going off of a year to what knowledge we do have and then it dropped, took a four million, probably more than that. But in here, that it dropped. Don't know where the drop came from, but it dropped. The cash flow. The good news for this is that cash flow is positive and increasing for every quarter. That leaves a total current cash on hand, which is this. But we're just gonna have for the giggles. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have twenty-three billion six hundred one million dollars currently in cash is what Facebook has on hand right now as of, well not as of right this second but as of March 30th 2020 so we're gonna go back to that so that's that current assets as of March 31st or March 30th they have 69 just add zeros to that current liabilities is 15 with the current ratio of 4.6 which is very extremely well I think this is probably one of the best balance sheets I have found right now is Facebook 
Um, this is very good. Total liability is 33. Total equity is 105, giving you about 31% debt to equity ratio, which is very good, very healthy as well. So from a balance sheet standpoint, the balance sheet is extremely solid. And I think Facebook, this could be an indicator right here is that the revenue growth has been, it kind of peaked as far as growth goes, if that makes any sense. So it's not like they're gonna keep growing at a rapid rate. I do think the revenues will keep on increasing as time goes on, but I don't think it's gonna grow as fast. I think they've definitely been around for a while. They've reached their prime. And I think they're definitely out of that growth stage. They are a well-established company at this point. So let's go down to their earnings per share. So just looking at their balance sheet, I do think they could pay a dividend. I think it's very healthy. I think it can be healthy for them like if they at the 25% ratio, but we're gonna talk about how I got to the annual payout. So the four quarters I used, I just took up their earnings per share. So we had 92 cents, $2.13, cents, $2.58, and $1.72 for a total of $7.35 over the four quarters that I picked. I then took that number multiply that by this payout ratio of 25%. Now we can change this around any way we want to do it. We can make it 25%, we can make it 40%. But I decided 25% because that's healthy. I don't think they want to just jump head in first if they were to pay a dividend to where they would pay 40, 50, 40, 50 60%, which is a little, that's pushing the boundary a little bit. 25% is a good spot for a company like Facebook, I think. So it leads us to an annual payout of $1.84, which then brings us to a dividend yield of 0.76%, which is slightly less than 1%. Now, like I said, oh, let me go ahead. So yes, I do think Facebook, I think they can pay a dividend. Will they do it? I'm not quite sure. Now, if they, so Facebook is on my watch list because I just feel it coming. I think they will pay a dividend at some point down the line. So I've been watching Facebook, got my eye on them because I want to be, I want to be in, a, I want to have be a shareholder when they pay it. I don't want to jump in after because I think also I think that will probably drive the price up of Facebook a little bit. And I do believe it's overvalued. I have to go back and look. I didn't put that on here because PE ratio was not really relative to if they pay a dividend or not. I just looked at what I felt was the most important parts of this in paying a dividend. So um, Facebook can do it. Can do it. If they do it, I don't know when it will happen, but it could be in their future. So I want to put y'all back on the screen. But, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this. Like I said, this is just me speculating, having some fun here with you guys in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below what stocks y'all do want to see. Um, so our criteria for this is that it has to have positive earnings for four, at least four quarters straight, the last four quarters. Um, and that's about it. So <laughs> because if they have negative earnings, they are not paying a dividend. That's why Tesla does not fit the bill here. I don't know why I pick on, why, why do I pick on Tesla so much? But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. I got some more of these coming for you. And we'll just go ahead and slowly roll these out. But anyways, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.